Hello, this is Tom from anti-proton.com and I'm coming to you live from my house, but not really live, I recorded this. I'm here to talk to you about my favorite little program called GeigerGraph by Mineral Lab. I've been using it to chart my radioactive readings more recently. I hope you can see this okay on my screen. I should probably be like less than cheap and go buy myself one of those programs that allows you to show people exactly um, what you're seeing. But anyway, <clears throat> here's GeigerGraph. GeigerGraph is connected by a cable to my laptop. As you can see along here, there's, um, oops, there are little bars here showing my current radio uh, uh, radiation findings, along with a counts per minute and the time. You see the little red dot here. It will blink red. You hear a tick. That's my Geiger counter when it ticks. Wait till it does it. Come on. Come on, Geiger counter. Well, anyway. Very neat program. It allows me to uh, write down the, um, the current, the last, the average, the maximum, the minimum, total counts, beginning, time, ending. It can do all kinds of things. It can, uh, uh, it can phone me, well, page me anyway email me whatever if I uh, if all of a sudden I have too high of a reading I can set oops there it is I just set the alert level so it'll actually beep and go crazy if this thing goes over a certain limit but more importantly than being able to do all the statistical data <clears throat> if I click on this little button up here at the top I get to see the world this is the radiation network as it exists for those who actually purchase the product. You notice, did you hear that? My Geiger counters went nuts for a few seconds. Alright. Let's see here. That is me. As you can see, there I am. It has incredible detail if you zoom in all the way down to the street level. Although I haven't loaded a lot of it up for my area yet, it loads <clears throat> piece by piece. It allows you to see things, like for example, a lot of people are curious about all the places that are in Colorado. When you get in close, you can actually see each individual one of them. They show the various levels they have. This guy over here is at 64 counts per minute. But better than that, if we zoom out a little bit, there's Hawaii, Alaska, Japan, it shows Japan's readings. And there's actually going to be a... Um, Geiger counter pretty soon up here in Sendai, which would be nice. And there's always, well, there's sometimes one in Europe too. Let's see if it's there. Oh, not on tonight. But this shows you all the all of the nuclear plants that exist in the in the world where they all are. This is important information to see. It has a little chat feature where people can talk. It shows you airports, all kinds of information. It's an incredibly, incredibly useful apparatus. Now let me show you how my Geiger counter is connected to it. I connect over here to a USB port, and there's a USB cable and connector, and let me switch over to where my Geiger counters, but my desk is a mess and I want you to see it, so let me cover up the screen. There. Notice the CRM100 Geiger counter. There it is. And as it ticks, you'll hear the beep. And you might hear the guy outside that the um, place ordering the food nearby me. Very annoying. Anyway, this Geiger counter is breathing the air right now. See? <clears throat> the Geiger Mueller window is exposed to the air. So it will tick whenever radiation goes past it. There. And as you see, I'm not getting, not getting too much from outside right this moment. 
But anyhow, what I do get, I like to put up on... Well, first off, let me show you. There's a Radiation Network. See, that's what you see if you go to RadiationNetwork.com with all of the information. And they have, like, Japan <coughs> and Hawaii. And see, when, when, when you see the United States and you see this little 12 here, that's coming out of my room right now. See, it says 12 right there. And it shows 8 right here because it just updated. Give it a few more seconds here. It should be exactly the same. There. See, now it shows it over here on this site, what I had. And, of course, it does that. All right. <clears throat> and I upload my feed every single day to my website, anti-proton.com, right here in the daily radiation data. Click there and you will see a crazy looking video of me. See? Oh no. This is Tom from anti-proton.com with an exciting bit of news for you. Yes, I look weird because it is night time. See? Yeah, it's night. That's all dark behind me. Anyway, here I am out in the wind, so I'm apparently not too worried about the radiation. And as you can see, I have all of my, um, um, Hmm. Let me pause the sound of that. I have all of my counts per minute updated. As you can see, I have lots and lots of data. And I upload this data every single day to help you. <clears throat> this comes from radiationnetwork.com. I'm mean, sorry, from the radiation network, which is radiationnetwork.com. <clears throat> and I have permission from the person who owns this to show both the software and my data my data to show continuously in the software because I told them you know I'm gonna put it on my uh, my my site here so people that watch my videos can uh, look at it and see it for themselves and he said that would be okay just to show one time since I'm not showing continuous feeds of data it doesn't hurt him in any way well it costs like seventy bucks to get the software it cost me about three hundred dollars for the Geiger counter and it cost me another thirty dollars for the cable I thought it was worth it in the end, if you go to, um, let's see here, <clears throat> if you really want to do a good job, you can go to medcom.com, which is where I got my Geiger counter, and you go down here and click on something like this inspector. This is a good Geiger counter. I do plan to get the inspector. It's not too expensive at $825. I can afford that. So, I'm definitely going to get myself one of these guys pretty soon. All right. Well, anyway, that's uh, pretty much all for today. I just wanted you to see what I had out there and see the radiationnetwork.com and get an idea yourself. You can look at other people's information. Expand it if you like. It's just an interesting thing. It allows you to look at unlimited data. And if you buy the software, you can do things like check for the largest, highest value, 50 counts per minute, that the uh, person has seen. Look at all the aggregate da data that you wish, and even save it. So this has been Tom from anti-proton.com. Um, it's not really an advertisement. I want people to buy the software and get on the site so that they can give me more data because I like to look at people's radio radiation data. Um, I, I don't work for Mineral Labs. I have nothing to do with them whatsoever. Um, I just think this is like the most awesome product that's out there for doing this sort of thing. Get a little CD and everything. See? Yay, go grab by Mineral Lab. So that's just what I think. Stay tuned. Tomorrow I'm going to be going by a rock shop and buying some minerals if they tick. If they don't, I won't. And then this weekend, I'm going to go out into the great outdoors and nature and sample, uh, do water samples and water analysis, okay? My Geiger counter will be off. That's the, that's the circle over Virginia. will be off tomorrow because I'm at the rock shop. And I can't have my Geiger counter in two places until I get another one. So this has been Tom from anti-proton.com. Bye-bye.